Alrighty, so here's my M41 field packs, or I guess uh, haversacks. Um, the one on the left is a World War II issued one, and the one on the right is a Korean War slash Vietnam War issued one. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I just kind of wanted, I've already showed off the one on the right, or I guess the Korean War one, but I felt like kind of just comparing and contrasting the two um, for you guys, just so, you know, he could kind of see the differences. But, um... Here's a 782 pack. I actually put a pickaxe on it. I actually bought this from an antique store and um, I got it for a relatively decent price. I'm not entirely sure if it's an army issued one or marine issued one, but I believe the army issued ones actually have like a big US on them. So um, it looks, you know, it looks pretty marine to me. So, you know, uh, a lot of people just put shovels on these or not really put anything at all. But I figured I'd just be kind of different and use a pickaxe. However, I don't know if it's entirely accurate to have a pickaxe because I'm going to be doing a uh, M1 carbine or uh, either an M1 carbine or an M1 grand impression or like, you know, basic impression. But um, I don't know if the pickaxe was issued out to, you know, someone carrying those two weapons because a lot of photos that I've seen mainly is just the guys with the bar um you know had the pickaxe i don't know if that's entirely true but that's just kind of what i've heard but um yeah but i just kind of put this on here just to be a little different everybody has a shovel you know so i figured might as well but this is actually a boyd um i think 43 dated uh haversack um yeah it has a lot of character to it i'll kind of show it off a little bit so you guys can kind of see that. Hopefully you can. But it has a lot of wear. Um, this is a little difficult. But yeah, a lot of wear, a lot of repairs. Um, you kind of move this shovel, not shovel, uh, pickaxe. You see a lot of tears and stuff like that, which I actually find really interesting and cool. Um, this pack actually had a huge ass rust stain and I removed it by using lemon and salt. Uh, it did a pretty decent job, but it actually faded it a little too much. You might not tell on the camera. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, I suppose, but um, yeah, it kind of faded the fabric a little too much for my liking. So I don't really think I'm gonna be doing that um, in the future, I don't know. But um, yeah, it actually has all the uh, shelter half straps you know, these are actually a real pain in the ass to get if you don't have them. Um, I really wish this was like a square buckle variant, you know, but still pretty cool. And if you guys aren't aware, the uh, square buckles are actually more of the earlier models. These are more of the late war models. So, you know, it's just cool to have square buckle, I guess. However, this one on the... Uh, the right I've noticed actually has square buckles, so that's really weird. Imagine, what if I uh, swapped them out? Be interesting. But yeah, that probably would ruin it. But um, yeah, the one on the on the right is actually, um, I don't really know the date of it. I believe it's 51. It's actually really hard to make out. I was actually lucky that I bought this backpack rather than I just complete... OD backpack or I guess have sack because the um, the all OD ones I believe are um, I think Vietnam specifically Vietnam issue and these ones are more around Korean War issue um, there actually is a Kayaki variant of this pack which I believe are probably even more correct for Korea but um, I just have this green variant you know, just kind of hanging around. So I figured might as well use it and just save a little bit of money. But um, most of these are dated, I believe, 51. And if you guys don't know, Korea ended in uh, 53. I think maybe late or early 53. I can't really think on the top of my head. But yeah. Um, but yeah, this is really just the differences. Mostly, um, you know, these are just the two. They're the color's main difference, but the um, the flap is also a pretty big difference. Um, but yeah, 
but I'm really, I'm really tripping out that this one actually has square buckles rather than, uh, you know, round buckles. But uh, yeah, these are my two 782 packs. Um, you know, just leave a comment or, you know, like, subscribe or whatever. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you.